Hi, and welcome to another Seeing Double video hosted by Two Peas in a Bucket.com. I'm Garden Girl Jen Gallagher, and today I'm going to be using some of my favorite stickers to create both a layout as well as a bonus project. And a lot of the papers and things I will be using today were inspired by the Basic Gray Knee Highs and Bow Ties collection. So we're going to start by using some elements from this collection and some of them I've pre-cut so that we can move through this layout quickly. But this frame sticker is what inspired the color scheme in this collection and there are elements of black in here as well. This particular pattern paper is from the collection and it's plaid on one side and black text on the other. And then when I was shopping in the two-piece store I simply went and looked for pattern papers that match this collection. So when you have found an element or an embellishment or even a multicolored pattern paper that you particularly love, then shop for coordinating elements and you can build your page from there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this at the bottom of the layout. Make sure that the text is right side up. We don't want to have any text that is wrong side up. And then I've already printed and cut this photo out and I did that so that I could place this outer sticker and you can see when I remove it. There are several different layers of circle stickers within this knee highs and bow ties sticker and I'm just going to place this around the perimeter of the sticker and this is going to go on the layout. This particular pattern paper is from my shopping trip and it is green and it is from Studio Calico. It's multicolored on the back side and just like I did with the back pattern paper I am going to notch it and then I'll overlap the black basic gray pattern paper. So I'm just building some layers of pendants and patterns. From the same sticker sheet as the circle sticker, there is this red and blue dot circle border strip. And I'll just cut this off a little bit. And it looks like I need to move this over just a little bit. We'll gently peel that up and scooch it over just a little bit. So sometimes as I'm building the page, I realize I need to move an element. All right, before sticking that red sticker down, I have a black tag from Fancy Pants that I am going to tie to the sticker. And this is from, I believe, their Park Bench collection. I'll make sure to link you to it in the items below. And we'll just loosely tie it there. And then we can stick the tag down. And then I'm going to add some glue dots to the back of the tag just to help hold it in place. And the black looks a little bit like chalkboard, which is a hot trend right now. So on this tag, I am going to add some dimensional stickers from Doodlebug Design. All of the elements I picked for this page are elements that remind me of my son. He enjoys drawing, and he always seems to have a lot of homework. And so I'm going to use these pencils on this tag. So you can see what it looks like. And then we'll start adding some additional elements. This red paper was inspired by the red in the sticker and the red in the pencils. And this is also from Studio Calico. And I'm going to create a tag with it. And to do that, I've cut a rectangle and then I'm going to cut a triangle off the top. And I'm going to take that same piece, flip it over to get the exact cut on the second part. And we'll go ahead and adhere that on our layout. I want to get a feel for where everything is going to go. I'm going to trim it down just a bit. And I'll tuck it inside that black pattern paper. Now Jenny Bolin also has some pattern paper that has tag paper. And it's perforated and you can peel it off, tear it off, but I've cut the inside of one of those tags off to fit the inside of this handmade tag. So I liked her concept, but the red didn't quite match with the red on this layout. And so I'm making my own tag by cutting out the inside of her element and adhering it to the tag. At the top of the tag, I am going to add a sticker that says, keep this. This is also from Jenny Bolin. And then I'm going to add a clothespin from Pebbles that says, smile. 
And I keep moving things around and making sure that everything fits where I want. This is a playing card from a Crate Paper Design DIY die cut collection. And I chose it because my son is nine and soon to be turning 10. So I wanted to use that with the number because it's significant. This particular pennant sticker is from Basic Gray. And this orange tab die cut is from October Afternoon's Tidbits. And I'm going to layer it right on top. Just building some different layers. And then I have clothespins from Tim Holtz that I will add to the nine card. And make sure that you add one small and one large size. Then I have this cute car sticker from the collection and we will adhere it at the bottom of the frame. Let's go ahead and put the frame on. And just move it until you get it exactly where you want and then we'll add the car. And I'm using the grid design on the green pattern paper to make sure the car is aligned exactly how I want. And then I've taken two black buttons and tied them with twine to fill in the wheels of this sticker. So I always try to add a little bit of texture either through a button or a wood veneer shape and maybe some twine just to dress up the stickers even further. So then I wanted to add a pennant border from this particular collection, the knee highs and bow ties, and they come as several different options and they are double sided. And we will just adhere that at the top of the layout and we'll use some glue dots to do that. And I'm only going to adhere a few of them so that it hangs a little bit off my page. So these particular pennants can be used multiple ways and they are pre-stitched which is nice because then that saves you the trouble of having to stitch them. Just add those glue dots behind. Put one more behind the red and then we'll trim off the excess piece of the pennant. So like I said it's double sided you could have used either side depending on the style and colors in your project. At the bottom here I'm going to add some additional sticker tags also from the basic gray collection. I will slightly overlap and underlap these two things. And then I have a yellow heart pin from my mind's eye that I'm going to go ahead and stick into the black chalkboard frame. Just to give it a little bit more texture. And then I have some journaling that I'm going to add that says, this is your last week of being single dig digits and being nine. And it talks about how he's turning 10 next week. So I'll go ahead and trim that out and then use a corner rounder punch to round the corners on the bottom. And I'll rub the edges with brown stamping ink. Adding a little bit of craft always seems a little bit masculine to me and I like that. We'll go ahead and tuck that underneath both the sticker and the pattern paper. Alright, and then I want to add some washi tape and this is some decorative tape from Echo Park Paper from their All About a Boy collection and it is a numbered washi tape, which I thought was again appropriate for a layout about my son turning 10 and we'll slightly overlap the pattern paper, the green and the black pattern paper and then tear it off. So just sticking little elements everywhere to kind of make it special. Something fun that I recently picked up that adds a little bit of dimension are these lawn cuts from Lawn Fawn and they run through a manual die cut machine and they cut a variety of different hearts for you. And so I've just cut a few that I'm going to go ahead and add to the page and to distress them a little bit you can ink the edges. You can cut from pattern paper or cardstock and it's fun to add just extra little elements to your page. 
and we'll just glue these to the tag. Just to bring in some orange to the top. And then for the title, I have cut a die cut using my silhouette machine and it says special day and we're going to go ahead and add that to the bottom of our layout and then I want to make this layout a little bit more special so I'm going to round the corners using a corner rounder punch this makes it stand out a little bit more and it matches some of the rounded corners I already found on the layout and then the last thing I want to add to this layout are some enamel dots from my mind's eye. These are really, really popular right now. And we'll add a fun kind of hot red dots to the layout just to give us some texture. So now you've seen me use some fun stickers to create a layout. Let's go ahead and make a bonus project. So the project we're going to make is a gift box because it is his birthday. And so I have cut using my silhouette machine some pattern papers and a box from the black pattern paper from the Knee Highs and Bowties collection. And then I'm going to add some leftover pattern paper from the Fancy Pants Diagonal Stripe pattern paper to cover the box. So first I will start by adding some elements to the box in the same manner that we did on the layout. So I already had all these supplies out so this makes it really really easy to go ahead and make a box and it typically takes about an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper or 12 by 12 if you're using a cameo to create a three-dimensional box and there are a lot of different shapes and sizes and styles that you can download from the Silhouette store. So check those out while you're shopping and downloading some of the two peas ones. We also have additional ones that you can use. So now that we have the basic box, we're going to go ahead and assemble it and just following the fold lines as shown on the cut, we'll go ahead and score the paper a little bit again. And then using glue dots, we will close up the, bo the box. Or if you have double-sided sticky tape or a particularly strong adhesive you like to use, I suggest using that. And you only need to add adhesive along the folds. So you can see how we match the folds. And then to close the box, you open the pillow like this and you add adhesive on the other side. And then at this point, you definitely want to make sure that you get whatever you want in the box placed inside because you don't want to close it up too soon. So I'm going to leave it open because I haven't added anything in yet. And then I've cut a little tag from the red paper from Studio Calico and this is from the American Crafts Dear Lizzie collection. It's a card I've cut down to fit the little red tag I created and we'll mount that on the bottom of the tag. And then I'm going to use that circular sticker again, and this time I'm going to use the Good For One Ride 5 cent sticker. And we will adhere that on the bottom of the tag. We'll slightly off-center it, and then we will add some of the enamel dots again. And then just using a standard hole punch, we'll punch a hole in the top of it. And then we'll string it onto the box. And I'm going to wrap the twine around several times. A color twine would be really fun for this particular project. And then I just string it onto the string and tie it into a bow. So there you see how by using the same sticker sheet, you can create both a layout as well as a matching gift box. So while your supplies are out, go ahead and make multiple projects. That saves you some time when you're crafting, and then you have extra projects left over. Be sure to visit the Two Piece website for the complete supply list from creating this, these projects, and watch for a new Seeing Double video coming soon.